Shalom, it's me Nicole and I just wanted to give you a little update on what's been happening here in Israel. I don't know exactly how long I've been here, maybe like seven weeks, which is crazy. I went through a month of Olpan. I had a, like a two week vacation break and then I just had my first week of classes. So wow, crazy. It is been quite the experience. Um, my classes are great. I am taking a Israeli politics class, um, the economy in Israel, the battle over the Bible, the Bible in the eyes of Jews, Christians, and Muslims, um, Israeli um, pop culture in the media, and how that has to do with politics. It's really interesting. And also, um, what's another class? Oh, the Arab-Israeli conflict. So all of these are super interesting. Um, it's only been the first week, but I have enjoyed all of them so far. And um, so that's great. I was really wondering what the classes were gonna be like here. So um, I'm lucky. And let's just hope that the rest of the semester goes well. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just wanted to basically say some cool things that's happened so far. Um, things that the Lord is doing in my heart. Um, that's basically it. So, just, this is so random, but some of the cool things are, okay, let me start out this by saying, my favorite thing at UW-Madison is in between classes, you see just the rushes of people, of students walking. Um, I just love it. And it's random, I know. But here, my favorite things are, it's really random. They're um, the Orthodox Jewish people. They curl their hair like this, just little pieces of hair. And then they wear like a little kippah or like a bigger hat. And then they have these bikes here that are um, like electronic bikes because it's really hilly in Jerusalem. And so a lot of these Jewish little boys, they have a big bike and they have these little curls and they're riding their electronic bike. I think it's so cute and so funny. So I love that. And then this thing I don't really love, but it just reminds me of Israel, so I'll tell you. There's cats everywhere. Um, if you know me, you know that I don't really like pets. Um, I know, a terrible person. <laughs> um, and yeah, so in our student village, like where our apartment dorms are, there are so many cats. And every time you walk outside, you see cats. My friend, she lives on the bottom floor and cats run into her apartment all the time. And yeah, they're everywhere and they just are gross. And I mean, some people think they're cute. I think those are gross. And I don't know, I just wanted to say that because it reminds me of Israel, it's something interesting. And yeah, there's one other thing that I have just thought was cool so far. But I don't remember it, maybe I will later. I'm trying not to take a break from this video. Pause it. So anyways, um, yes. Something that the Lord has been doing in my heart is, well, coming here, I thought maybe since I chose Israel, since I chose Jerusalem, the holy city, that something really huge would happen in my heart. And that didn't happen. Um, sort of goes along with how the Lord has been working myself all along. Um, you know, a lot of times you want these huge, like, when you're saved, like, have a huge moment or when you're baptized or even when you're filled with the Holy Spirit. I think that a lot of times you just can't go by feeling because like obviously something big is happening um, even if I like don't have feel it or have a special moment. Um, and so being here I came and I was like expecting something from the Lord which why um, why should I do that? Um, and anyway, so I had a hard time just coming here and thinking, okay, my quiet time with the Lord will be changed, my, um, like, it will improve, and my relationship with Him will just automatically improve because I'm being in Jerusalem. And that didn't happen, and honestly, it didn't fall apart, but it, for the first few weeks, it just didn't happen because I was busy situating into a new country <laughs> and um, I was like oh my goodness like what the heck and then of course you come back to well that's because you need to make the effort 
and I'm like, oh yeah, okay, so like I need to read the word every day and I need to have a prayer life and I need to whatever. So that's where I'm at now. And like, obviously like the Lord has used me so much. He is working in my heart. He's working in my life. I have gotten to pray for some awesome people. I'm just being filled up. I go to a church called King of Kings every Sunday. Um, we go on Sunday night because here the week starts on Sunday. So they work in the morning to the like afternoon, um, like a normal day. So church on Sunday night been really good. Um, I've met some Christian believers as friends. Um, and I also just started going to this small group through the church. It's called, what is it called? The Biblical History of the Middle East in the End Times. And it's with like this guy named Chris Mitchell, which I hadn't heard of before, but apparently he is like a news broadcaster maybe on CNN or something. I don't know. So that's going to be great. Um, and anyways, like not only that, but like my quiet time with the Lord, like I'm reading the Bible, like I, there's a Torah portion that the Jewish people read and I've been reading that um, weekly and I've been praying for for the Jews a lot and also for my friends here who are not saved um, yeah so I just wanted to say that because I don't know it was a huge deal when I first got here like what the heck and I'm in the holy city and not even feeling God's presence and then you know it goes it just reminded me like yeah you're right like you're right Lord like I need to make an effort it's not just you and it's not the place at all um, I'm still so glad that I'm in Jerusalem because there are so many holy not even like I don't know holy places there are so many places that are important to history um, and the Bible and you know, going there, I don't think that, like, you feel, like, I didn't feel anything weird. But it just is so cool to me to have the Bible come to life. And that has also helped grow my like, relationship with God, just realizing, wow, like, Jesus was here. Like, I don't know. It's just, like, it's really mind-blowing. It's hard to say out loud. But anyway, so that's what's going on. Um... Yeah, so seven weeks into Israel, it's been good. I I don't know really what else to say. Um, I obviously miss like my friends and family a lot. It is hard to be here, be away from everybody. Um, I miss my mom's cooking. I was so lucky to have her bring me food when I was living in the dorms. Wow, I totally miss that. Um, yeah, so and I miss her to do my laundry for me. <laughs> um, anyways, I I just wanted to update you and um, some prayer points that you could be having for me. Um, I could really just use prayer to, yeah, use my time wisely. That's always my prayer because I am a person who gets really busy and even coming here, I was like thinking it would be better because I'm leaving everything that I'm a part of, everything that I'm connected to, and I'm coming here starting something fresh and I will be able to um, make like make new habits. But honestly, a lot of things I've fallen into the same thing. I've made friends and I hang out with them a lot. And um, that can be good and can also be bad because you know, I, the Lord is my number one priority and I need to make sure I have time for with Him first. So just pray that I spend my time wisely. I give God all of my time. Um, you can pray for my classes as they hopefully won't be too stressful and too hard. Um, but they will be like, and I will be so interested. I pray that I will pay attention in my classrooms and um, yeah, like actually learn stuff. <laughs> And then you can pray for the friends that I've made here that the saved and non-saved that they will just get closer to the Lord and that God will use me in their lives. Um, we were at our church, we were praying for just um, the supernatural. And yeah, man, I want to see God at work in the supernatural. So I think that's it. I um, I'm praying for you guys. I need to pray for my friends and family more. If you have any prayer requests, you can comment below or you can obviously like Facebook message me 
or something like that. Um, yeah, because I love you and I am praying for you. And um, my number one prayer for people back home has just been blessings on them. That was something that somebody spoke over me before I left is that the people that I, um, the people that I left at home, that they would just like be blessed by God. And so I believe that and I'm praying for blessings on you guys. Um, yeah, so anyways, that's it. This is my update. I hope that you guys are well and I hope that you're enjoying my vlogs because I, I really like to vlog. Um, if you knew me before this, you knew that I loved watching vlogs on YouTube and now I'm a vlogger, so. <laughs> um, yeah, so bye. Oh, and I have to do this because this is my thing now. Bye.